Hello, today I'd like to review over addition and subtraction. Of course, many of no us know how to do addition and subtraction, but I'd like to remind you that many years ago, people didn't have calculators, and so they had to rely on methods to do arithmetic by hand. Also, it's very important to know what addition and subtraction means, so we'll start with addition first. And let's ask the question, what is addition? Well, addition is the fundamental idea of combining things. Say, for example, we had 5 plus 4. Now, what does that mean? Well, visually, we can look at this and say we have 5 limes and we wanted to add 4 of them. To answer this question, we would combine them together and then count how many we have in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this answers our very simple addition problem. And of course, we may just say that that was too easy. But um, this is a very fundamental idea in addition and it shouldn't be uh, underemphasized. Okay, next, let's say we had a more complex addition problem such as 157 plus 39. Well, first of all, let's look at this problem and see how it's set up. What we can see from here is we have the ones are lined up together, the tens are lined up and then we have the hundreds so there if we can imagine we have this marker here and we push the numbers up against this marker to where the numbers line up up against each other and what this enables us to do is start from the right and look at these two numbers that we have 9 and 7 and what we're going to do first is add them together 9 plus 7 equals 16. Well, we only have one place for a digit here, so what we're going to do is write the 6 down here and write the next number on top of here. So now we can focus on this part, which is the tens place, and add these numbers up. 5 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 9. Next, we can focus on the hundreds place, which we just have one number, so we'll just bring it over down, and our answer is 196.